Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Model 2 Lesson 24 homework. So let's get started. Number one, divide. Show every other division sentence in two steps. The first two have been done for you. Alright, so A, we have 1.8 divided by 6 equals 0 0.3. So then B, it says 1.8 divided by 60. So notice how in both two equations, the dividend stayed the same, which is 1.8, but the divisor changed from 6 to 60. So 60, it went from 6 to 60, so it became 10 times greater. So we're dividing by a number that's 10 times greater than the original equation before. That means we're splitting 1.8 into 10 times greater more groups, more, the 10 times greater than the number of groups. And if there's more groups, that means the amount in each group must be 10 times less than before. So that's how they got the 1.8 divided by 6 and then divide by 10 because it would be 10 times less. That's 0 0.3 divided by 10. So you just move the decimal point one time to the left. That's 0 0.03. So let's look at C. We have 2.4 divided by 8. That's 24 tenths divided by 8 ones. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So it'd be 3 tenths which is written like 0 0.3. D, 2.4 divided by 80. So we went from 8 to 80. So it's 10 times more. Our divisor is 10 times more, which means we're splitting apart 2.4 into 10 times more groups. So that's the case. That means that the number of, or the pieces in each group must be 10 times less as before. So what we do is, 2.4 divided by 8 and then divide by 10, which is 0 0.3 divided by 10. Move the decimal point um, one time to the left, that would be 0 0.03. All right, let's take a look at E. 14.6 divided by 2, that's 146 tenths divided by two ones. 146 divided by two, let's see, 14 divided by two is seven, and six divided by two is three. So it'd be 73 tenths, which is 7.3. But F, 14.6 divided by 20. So two became 10 times greater, that means it'd be 14.6 divided by 2, then divide by 10, because the number, the portion of each group will be 10 times less. Equals 7.3 divided by 10. Move the decimal point one time to the left. That'd be 0 0.73. All right, G, 0 0.8 divided by 4. That's 8 tenths divided by 4 ones. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so it's 2 tenths, which is 0 0.2. H, 80 divided by 400. So that's how 0 0.8 jumped from 0 0.8 to 80, which is 100 times greater, and 4 jumped to 400, which is also 100 times greater. So those, that 100 times greater kind of cancels out, which means our answer should be the same as before since both numbers became 100 times greater. So we do, we have 80 divided by four and then divide by 100. Cause that's like kind of what we had before. We have 80 here though, which is 20 divided by 100. So move the decimal point one, um, two times to the left. I'll just be one, two. So that's 0 0.2. All right, and I, 0 0.56 divided by seven, that is 5,600. 
divide by seven ones, which is eight hundredths. So that's zero point zero eight. All right, and J. So our dividends stay the same, but our divisor became ten times greater, which means our quotient would be ten times less. So fifty six divided by seven. Then divide by 10 equals 0 0.08 divided by 10. So move the decimal point one time to the left. That would be 0 0.008. 0 0.008. All right, K. 9.45. That's 945 hundred. Divide by nine ones. Nine forty five divided by nine, that's one hundred five. So that's one hundred five hundredths. Which is one point zero five. And now we have nine point four five divided by nine hundred. So that's nine hundred times greater, which means our answer needs to be one hundred times less. Nine point four five divided by nine. Divide by 100 equals 1.05 divided by 100. And that will give us, move the decimal point two times to the left, 0 0.0105. All right, next page. Number two. Okay, number two, use place value reasoning and the first quotient to compute the second quotient. Use place value to explain how you place the decimal point. A, we have 65.6 divided by 80 equals 0 0.82. Now we have 65.6 divided by 8. So since um, our um, divisor became 10 times less, so we're dividing into less groups. That means the um, portion of each group must be 10 times greater. That means 0 0.82 times 10. Move the decimal once to the right. That would be 8.2. So that would be our answer. And it says how we decided that number. Well, since... Okay, since... The divisor became 10 times less the quotient would become 10 times more because if we're dividing into um, a smaller amount of groups, that means the number of each, in each group must be bigger or higher. All right, B, 2.5 divided by 50 equals 0 0.05. Now 2.5 divided by five. So again, we went from 50 to five, so the number of groups is 10 times less, which means our quotient would be 10 times more. Move the decimal place once to the right, that would just be zero. So you can write the quotient is 10 times more because the divisor is 10 times less. Alright, you see, 19.2 divided by 40 equals 0 0.48, so then 19.2 divided by 4, so we're going 10 times less again, so our quotient is 10 times more, that would be 4.8. Alright, the divisor is 10 times less, so the quotient is 
10 times more. All right, D, 39.6 divided by six equals 6.6. .6. 39.6 divided by 60. So watch out for this one because instead of going from big to small, we went small to big. So it became 10 times more. So we're splitting apart 39.6 into 10 times more groups than before. So that means the portion of each group must be 10 times less than before. So 6.6 .6 divided by 10. Move the decimal points point once to the left. That would be 0 0.66. So we can write the quotient is 10 times less since the divisor is 10 times more. All right, last page. Number three, Chris rode his bike along the same route, route every day for 60 days. He logged that he had gone exactly 127.8 miles. A, how many miles did he bike each day? Show your work to explain how you know. So find that amount, 127.8 divided by 60. And we can rewrite that to make it easier. 127.8 divided by 6. And... Um, then divide by 10. So let's see, 127.8 divided by 6. We can do that on the side here. Okay. 6 goes 2 times into 12. That's 12. So 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring the 7 down. 6 goes 1 into 7. Let's see. And that's one. Bring the eight down. Six goes three times into eighteen. So twenty-one point three would be our answer. But we have to divide that number by ten as well. So that's twenty-one point three divided by ten. Move the decimal point once to the left. So that'd be two point one three. That means he biked two point one three miles each day. All right. Now number B, not number, just B says, let's see. How many miles did he bike over the course of two weeks? So let's start by asking, well, how many days are in two weeks? There's seven days in a week, so two weeks, that'd be 14 days. If he bikes 2.13 miles each day, then 14 days, that's 2.13 times 14. We can multiply this by 100, so think of it as 213 right now. So basically ignore the decimal point. 3 times 4 is 12, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 2 times 4 is 8. Add a 0, 1 times 3 is 3, times 1 is 1, and times 2 is 2. Now we add and divide by 100. So move the decimal point in the middle. 29.82 miles in two weeks. All right, number four. 2.1 liters of coffee were equally distributed to 30 cups. How many milliliters of coffee were in each cup? All right, first thing we should do is convert 2.1 liters to milliliters. So let's see, we know that 2.1, let's see, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So 2.1 liters times one liter equals 2.1 liters times 1,000 milliliters because there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. And 2.1 times 1,000, let's see, what's 2.1 times 1,000? That'd be, move the decimal point, three times to the, um, the right, one, and just zero, zero. That's 2,100 milliliters um, of coffee in total. But how many 
milliliters are there in each cup? So 2,100 divided by 30, let's see, equals, no, we can like do that thing we learned, cross off the zeros. So we have 210 divided by 30, 21 divided by 3 is 7, and we bring the zero here, so 70. I mean, 70 milliliters of coffee were in each cup. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.